Hello and welcome to the Windows 10 tips and tricks video where I share 14 useful tips you can use today so you can be more productive and make life easier for yourself. Just before I start, Team AJ is a channel that does unboxings, helps with how-to videos and does reviews on consumer tech. If you'd like to see more of the same, be sure to subscribe and please share this video with a Windows 10 friend of yours. Thank you very much. Okay, let's get into this. Hide desktop items on Windows 10. If you'd like to hide your desktop items so you can perhaps enjoy your background or you just want items away from prying eyes, all you need to do is grab your mouse, place it in a clear space on your desktop, right click, then go to view, then go along and down to show desktop icons. Click that and your icons disappear. They aren't deleted, they are just hidden and to bring them back, right click again, view and show desktop items. Enable clipboard history on Windows 10. Enabling clipboard history on Windows 10 is useful if you copy and paste and would like to have access to a list of recently copied items, not just what you last copied. To enable this, go to Start, then to Settings. In this window here, type in Clipboard Settings, which is just here, and you'll see Clipboard History. We want to just toggle this on. Right, now we can test this. We'll bring up this notepad I have here and let's copy a couple of items of text. So we'll copy that and we'll copy this. Now to activate the clipboard history, we use a keyboard combination and that is the Windows key plus V for Victor. You press that and you get the clipboard history. You can select an item and it will paste it. Windows and V. Let's select the second item and it has pasted it. When we go into clipboard history, we can delete an entry simply by clicking on the ellipsis here. We can delete it, we can pin it to the top of this list or we can clear all. That's how the clipboard history works with Windows 10. Snap windows on Windows 10. Snapping windows in place in Windows 10 is a great way to evenly divide your screen space for multiple windows. All you have to do is grab an open window. In this example, I'll drag this to the left-hand side and you can see it's automatically resized the app to take up the left-hand side of the screen. On the right-hand side of the screen are the other apps I have open and I can click on any one of them and it will take the right-hand side of the screen. It doesn't stop there though. You can also resize these windows into quarters so you can fit four windows. What we'll do is select Excel, press the Windows key press the up key, release, and you can see you can slot in another application. Let's go across to Word, do the same thing, Windows key, up arrow, and the fourth application becomes available. But it doesn't stop there, you can also move these applications around, simply use the Windows key and arrow, and as you can see, you can move these around to fit what you want. Emojis on Windows 10. Everyone loves emojis and Windows 10 gives you plenty of choice. All you have to do is place your cursor where you'd like the emoji to appear. Then press the Windows and period button or Windows and colon. Up pops a little emoji window and you can select the emojis that you want. I really like emojis, I think they're so cool. If you like emojis too, leave one in the comments just to make sure it's working for you and I'll be sure to reply with one of my favorite emojis. Speed up Windows 10 start time. If your computer or laptop is slow when booting, you can check which apps are launching at startup and if there are any apps which you don't need straight away, you can disable them. To do this, right click on your taskbar, then go to Task Manager. In Task Manager, go to the Startup tab. This lists all the applications which try to start up when your computer starts. You can sort these by clicking on Status, and you can see which ones are enabled to start and which ones are disabled. To disable one, simply highlight it, right click and disable. If you change your mind, you can right click again and just enable. If you're unsure of what one of these items are, all you need to do is right click on it and go to search online where you can find further information. Snip and sketch on Windows 10. Snip and Sketch is a tool built into Windows 10 that allows you to take screenshots and edit them. It's a replacement for the snipping tool and offers many more features. You start Snip and Sketch by finding it in the Start menu under S, or you can type in Snip in the search bar. 
click Snip and Sketch. And it also lets you know you can press the Windows logo key, Shift and S to start the Snip and Sketch tool. Once it's open, click New. You get some options at the top here as to how you want to take your snip. We'll do a rectangular one here. Place the cursor where you'd like to start. Press the left mouse key and hold it down and drag across the area you want to snip. When you've found the area, just release and you now have your snip. You can edit your snip by using a pen, select a color and you can draw on what you would like. Very fetching, I think. Okay, once you've done that, you can copy, which allows you to copy and paste into another document, like so. You can also save, as you'd expect. And if you want to do another sketch, you just click New. Again, go to Rectangular, and you can select another area. This is something you can do with the snipping tool. It would only allow you to do one snip at a time, so this is a, a great improvement. Pin items to the taskbar and jump lists in Windows 10. Pinning an application to the taskbar is very useful if you use it frequently. To do this, go to the Start menu, locate the application you'd like on your toolbar, right click on it, go to More and Pin to Taskbar. You can also just drag an icon to your taskbar. You're not restricted to only items from the Start menu. You could drag a shortcut, for example, from your desktop and for that matter, any other location on the computer. To access an app's jump list, right click on its icon. What's displayed in the jump list varies depending on the app, but it usually shows pinned items and recently opened items. You can unpin any of these items by right clicking and going unpin from list. If you don't see these items on your jump list, what you can do is go to the start, go to settings, Type in start, you'll see start settings appear. And just make sure we have this toggled on, which is show recently opened items in jump lists. Hide the search bar in Windows 10. If the search bar is taking up too much room on your taskbar, you can hide it. What you do is place your mouse in a clear space on your taskbar, right click, go up to search and go to hidden. This hides the search bar. To bring it back, simply right click on the taskbar, go to search and show search box. If you would like a middle ground solution where you just have a little icon, what you can do is right click the taskbar, go to search and show search icon. Show file name extensions in Windows 10. There may be occasions when you need to change a file extension or you need to identify a file extension of two similar looking files. To do this, open up a Windows Explorer window, then go to View and just place a tick next to File Name Extensions. What you'll notice is that the file name extension is appended to the name and you can easily identify the file. Minimize all windows quickly in Windows 10. To get back to your desktop icons, there are two easy ways to do this. The first way is to grab an open window and just shake it. This quickly minimizes all open windows. Another way of doing this is to grab your cursor and just drag it to the far right corner. Right in the corner, you'll see there's a little line and to the right, press that button and you can see your desktop items. To bring your items back to where they were, press it again. Dark mode in Windows 10. If you'd like to switch your Windows interface to dark mode, which can be easier on the eye, it's quick and easy. All you need to do is go to Start, then to Settings, select Personalization, select Colors, and the default is light. Click on the drop down and select dark. Make File Explorer start in My Computer. In Windows 10, when you open the File Explorer, it opens up in the Quick Access window showing frequent folders and recent files. If you'd like to change that back to this PC, what you need to do is just click on to View, then go to Options, then at the top here it says Open File Explorer 2, use the drop down and select this PC, and click OK. 
The next time you open up the File Explorer, it will open up in this PC and you can see your C drive and other drives if you have them. Create PDFs for free in Windows 10. Windows 10 gives you the option to create PDF files which can be saved locally or emailed to friends and colleagues as required. To create a PDF, open the document you'd like to convert, then click onto File, go to Print, and select your Microsoft Print to PDF printer. Select Print, a window pops up asking you where you'd like to save it and also to give it a file name. You can see from the line below the file name, it's saving it as a PDF document. I'll click Save here. And you can see on the desktop, a PDF has been created. Keyboard shortcuts on Windows 10. I thought I'd share the keyboard shortcuts I use the most when I use Windows 10. They are Select All, which is Control A. I use Copy, which is Control C. So I can highlight an area, Control C. And if I want to paste that, I'll do a Control and V. Control V. I use those all the time. Hopefully you'll find them useful as well. Thanks for watching my Windows 10 tips and tricks video. I hope you got some value from it. Let me know in the comments which was your favorite tip. And if you have a tip you'd like to share with the team here, please leave that in the comments as well. Be sure to emoji me, subscribe, and share this video with your Windows 10 friends. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Take care.